bridge back again. Oh, I took my fuel filter off. And I ran my the fuel through my line before I took it off, actually. And this is what came out. It's disgusting. I wonder why it didn't want to idle. Whatever that bubble rust stuff is at the bottom. It seems to be coming out clear now. Still going to take my carburetor off. Hopefully, maybe clean the jets. Drain that already. All right, I'm back. Started draining the oil. And then I pulled out the oil plug and realized it was caked with a bunch of shavings and I realized I have a magnet on this one I didn't even know that I might have put this on there I might not it might have came with the engine I can't even remember that's funny yeah we're slowly tripping out right now tilt it tilt it straight Tilt the bike straight up, a lot more will come out. All that nasty, dirty black oil. I got me some new oil. Semi synthetic motorcycle oil. I would show the brand, but they they don't sponsor me or pay me or anything, so it's just some oil. <laughs> 1040. Semi synthetic. And I got my gas can because I want to drain the gas out and clean that out. But yeah. I cleaned my plug off with some paper towels and I was nice and clean, no shavings on there from breaking. You could also, if you have a push for Kickstarter, push it over a couple times and also get the foil that's in the head. If you're like me, you just wanna get all the oil out. Don't fire it up or don't start it up or anything. Take it up and tilt it back over. Even more comes out. that slowly drain out I guess also to take off your to take your oil plug out it's a 17 millimeter socket perfect size 17 millimeter another trick is to open your your oil dip take your oil dipstick and loosen that so it helps the oil flow out faster Ready to 
fill it back up with some oil. Okay. Little plug. Put it back in. Make sure your threads are seated right so you don't strip them. Take my socket. Just do a like a little bit of a turn, quarter turn. Don't want it to be too tight. Don't want to strip anything. Fill it up with oil. start off by putting about 600 milliliters in there check it with the dipstick and then slowly add some in there if you need to but this bike usually takes the whole quart pretty much 900 millimeters milliliters the whole quart I'll usually have a little bit left to top it off if need be Check it with my dipstick. Everything's nice and looped. Okay, oil change done. Time to work on this fuel now. Get this tank clean. Just gonna use the old school way, Mr. Clean, I think. Can't remember what it's just like rust stuff to eat the rust down. And I'm gonna, you know, seal it. Hopefully it runs good. Let's get it. Probably keep going. All right, I'll put it back together. Let's see if she'll fire.
out. see how it's running but I the bike ended up falling over because I had it parked on a little hill right there and the kickstand collapsed and so I ended up breaking my $70 fly lever clutch lever so off we go off we go to the cart store